hi heathens so disclaimer this video is going to be super nasally and congested and just probably a little unpleasant to uh to listen to so keep that in mind and you might just want to skip around um what i would do is do a voiceover however i don't exactly have the equipment for that so you're just gonna have to listen to me be a little nasally so uh i'm sick as you can tell and i am going to do my end of the month wrap up review i have already primed my skin with the illamasqua water gel primer that I received in my Ipsy Plus. What I did not know when I got that, and this is completely my fault, is that it is a like primer moisturizer. For some reason I thought that it was just a like gel moisturizer, not a primer moisturizer. So the first time I used it, my skin got super tacky. And I was like, what the heck is going on? So I like started looking into it a little bit more and nope, it's like a primer moisturizer, which thoroughly explains the tackiness. If I'm using a product like this that was not from the box, I'm not going to talk about it. But to blend in the foundation, I'm going to use the bigger Boxy Charm brush, which I've been super looking forward to using. It's super dense. And I've kind of heard mixed things, so I'm really looking forward to making my own opinion. Um, but anyway, I didn't realize that it was supposed to be like a moisturizing primer. And I was like, oh, well, that makes a lot of sense. Kind of wish I had known that. So I did try it as a moisturizer. And I mean, it's still fine. It does leave my skin feeling really moisturized but it also leaves it kind of tacky for quite a while um so I figured I'd try it today as my primer and see how it helps my makeup or if it helps my makeup and I concentrated mainly around my nose and on the center of my forehead right here because that's where I tend to get the most dry especially right now. Uh, today has been on the chillier side again and we went through a series of days where it was like back up in the 70s which I'm sure isn't helping me being sick any uh, because the constant weather change my body has no idea what it's doing and my sinuses are kicking my rear end. So that being said, here we are, and I sound like trash, so, hello. So, I mean, I don't know that it's made it any worse. Um, this brush is very interesting. It doesn't hold a lot of product. There's a little bit right here on the side where I kept hitting the side of my face. But overall, I think it looks pretty smooth. It did seem to help even out my forehead a little bit, the um, moisturizer. I'm not mad. It's not my favorite brush to use for foundation, but I'm not mad at it. Next, I'm going to go in with the smaller one. And I don't know where I put my powder. I'm super prepared, guys. I'm going to do something I don't normally do if this brush will let me. I'm going to go in with my e.l.f. loose translucent powder. And I'm just going to Dap, dap. I'm gonna tap on in and I'm gonna set the areas of my face where I will be applying other products like normal. And then I'm also going to go, gonna tap the excess off. It picks up a lot. I'm gonna put quite a bit under my eye. Um, for anyone who is new to my channel, hi, hello. Um, I do not typically 
use concealer, which is why I am not putting any on. So I'm putting this powder under my eye so that I can go in with eyeshadow next. And it'll be kind of like baking. Um, I'll have a little bit more control if there's any fallout. And now I'm just setting the areas that I'm likely to get, oh, I got powder in my eye, likely to get a little more oily. I went and got new glasses over the weekend, and one of the pair makes my eyes look so close together that I'm kind of sad. Like, they're super cute until I look, like, directly at myself. I'm like, oh my gosh, are my eyes really that close together or are the glasses just really huge? Um, it's a combination of both. So that's a really cool thing to uh, draw attention to. So for the eyeshadow palette, I'm going to go in with the Dominique Cosmetics Celestial Thunder palette, which I have not played with again since I opened it initially. I just haven't had a chance to. And felt like I was going to sneeze, but I guess... Uh, my body changed its mind. So I haven't really had a chance to play with this like I was just saying. So we're going to go in and do another look with it. I'm sure it's not going to match my shirt or the lipstick I'm going to use. So be prepared for that. I'm going to tap in with the shade Lunar Eclipse, which is the more orangey terracotta shade. Making sure to tap off all the excess. Ha! Huh. Hair. I don't know if you can see it, but I know I wasn't crazy. And we're just going to go right in. So, for the winner this month, I've had a really hard time deciding, actually, because I am pretty impressed with everything this month. Um... I mean, to be honest, Birchbox kind of gets a pass both ways because I was happy with it, but mainly the items that I was happy with were actually duplicates of items that I've received in the past, not necessarily from Birchbox, but just in general. So it's kind of bias on that end. It wasn't like, oh, they sent me all these amazing new products that I've never tried before and I'm so excited to try. Uh, BoxyCharm this month had an amazing run. Um, but I think, I think Ipsy is going to take it again, but I can't decide between the Ipsy Plus and the regular Ipsy Glam. Because the regular Ipsy Glam, I'm now going into Storm Dust, really kind of won my heart with sending the Huda Beauty lipstick, which is what I'm going to use. However, the plus was the one where I received the Bell and Argent lipstick, and I love that lipstick. It is so gorgeous. It is so pigmented, so creamy, and it actually lasts. So, like, even when it does start to wear off, like, if you're, you know, eating and drinking like a normal person, it wears off in such a nice way, and it leaves almost like a stain on the lips, so it's not fully worn off. It's so nice. Um, I actually ordered more, <laughs> because they had a Black Friday sale going, and... I had a 50% off code, so I decided to use it. So I have some more of those coming, and for those of you who didn't see that video, just look at this packaging. Like, ugh, gorgeous. Now I'm going to tap in with my finger into fireball which is this coppery shimmer also I don't know what fell a second ago if y'all heard that I'm gonna have to look when I'm done filming and I'm just gonna tap this all over the lid but yeah I think I think Epsi's gonna take it um my Medusa's makeup this month was pretty good 
I am going to have to discontinue them for the time being, but I still kind of want to do a look using a lot of the products that I've received because they are incredible products. Like, I did not discontinue them because I didn't like it. Um, I discontinued them because out of all the ones I receive, since I get a lot of loose eyeshadows from Medusa's makeup, I find myself reaching for them less than I do my pressed eyeshadows. So, since I'm trying a few different things, um, I just had to temporarily stop that one. Now I'm going to take the bronzer that I got from Ipsy, the GG Gorgeous collection, and I'm going to tap a little bit into both sides of that. And we're going to try it out. I'm not going to go as heavy <laughs> as I have been. Um, and see if it's a little better. But yeah, what was your favorite box or bag that I received? Or that you received? Because obviously, with some of these, not everyone receives the same items. I'd love to know. Because... Ipsy was my favorite both ways, um, but it definitely may not be your favorite. You could have received totally different products. I've definitely gotten Ipsy bags before that I wasn't in love with. I've never hated one, which is pretty impressive, but I've gotten ones that I wasn't the craziest about, but that's completely personal preference. You know, there's nothing wrong with disliking a month and you don't, I would suggest, mm, excuse me, in my personal opinion, if you've had a subscription for a long time and it's worked out for you and then you get one month that you just really don't like unless everything's busted and the customer service is broken, like my yes so yes experience, um, don't cancel just because of that one month because you're not going to like everything. So that's just my little moment. All right, I'm gonna go in with Electric Slide Super Shock Cheek for highlight by ColourPop. Um, I am not going to be using the Ciate Dew Stick for highlighter, even though I did receive that again this month because I still have not found a way to really make it work for me in a way that I love it and I'm reaching for it. So I'm really only using the products that I've really been either reaching for or haven't had a chance to try, like the brushes. Yeah. I went a little intense on that nose highlight. Let me see, hold on. Oh gosh, oh geez. Okay, I don't know if y'all be able to see that, but, uh, we're a little, a little intense, but that's okay. Sometimes it happens, you know? It's all good. Now I'm gonna go in with the mascara that I've really been looking forward to using. I still cannot find my other one, which is the Wander Beauty Mile High Club mascara. I have another one somewhere that I'm pretty sure I got from Allure? Question mark. Um, it's just got a really straight wand, but I can't find it. So, and I actually never got a chance to try it because I was using the Unlashed by Wander Beauty. So this is actually my first time trying this mascara. Oh, that's nice. Like just right off the bat, really nice volume and separation. Ooh, that's pretty. Oh, I like that. Like for some reason, I was expecting it to be much more dramatic than the Unlashed. I guess just because of the name. Um, and it is more dramatic. Unlashed is definitely, oh my god, this one piece of hair. 
unlashed is definitely a little more natural. But it's, this isn't near as extreme as I was expecting. And maybe it's just because my lashes aren't as extreme as someone else's. So on someone else, this might be like completely insane in a good way. So I do have one small complaint and that's that I'm having to dip back in and with the unlashed I don't have to do that. Maybe it's just the shape of the wand. The other one catches a little more product maybe because it's got a curled wand. This eye they got a little clumpier. That's okay. I still really like the way it looks. Do, do, do. Hate the silence while I'm doing this. Yeah. Alright, well that is the mascara on. I like that a lot. I'm going to have to play around with this side and make it not less clumpy, but where they're not sticking together quite as bad. Maybe take a spoolie to it or something. Now, the moment that I've been waiting for. I'm going to use the Gigi Gorgeous Lip Balm because my lips are dry to kind of even them out a little bit. And then I'm going to go in on top of that with the Huda Beauty lipstick in the shade Medusa. I've really been looking forward to using this and I haven't had a chance to yet. Oh, they smell so good. All right, here we go. Like, that is just my perfect color. Oh, I like that a lot. So since I went in with that lip balm first, it did stay a little creamier um, than it may normally. So it may take a little bit longer to dry down. But I didn't want it picking up on all my cracks and fine lines. Oh, I forgot to... I wanted to do a little inner corner highlight today. I'm going to go back in with the same thing that I used for my actual highlight. And just tap it on right there. <laughs> Boom. All right. So that is the look. Let me know what you guys think. And do you agree with my choice of Ipsy being the winner? By a very, it was a very tight race. It, it definitely was. And I cannot wait to see what December is going to bring because I am getting Allure back because I saw, I saw the collaboration and I had to have it. Um, and I have seen one spoiler for BoxyCharm and am so excited I could lose my mind. So yeah, let me know your thoughts down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed and subscribe if you'd like to see more of my content. I will see you guys next time. Bye!